Hey, what's up guys? Tom from Positive Lead Diagnostics. Today we are working on a 2017 Volkswagen Jetta with a 1.4 liter engine. Customer complaint is a bunch of lights on the dash and when you hit the accelerator pedal, the car doesn't go anywhere. So I'll get you a shot of the dash and then we'll put the scan tool up and see what kind of faults we have. So just started up, we got an EPC light, check engine light, flashing tire light. Uh, there's a wrench light up in the center right there. That's a uh, fault in the TCM. And then we have a traction light. And right now I'm hitting the pedal and no response. So let's get the scan tool hooked up, see what kind of faults we have. All right, so just using the factory scan tool. Let's see, in the ECM we have a P2122 throttle pedal position sensor switch D circuit low. And then we have a P2127 throttle pedal position sensor E circuit low. A P1624 malfunction lamp active, it's a requirement, so probably from other modules. And in the TCM U0401 invalid data from the PCM, ECM. And then in the brakes, we have an ECM, please read DTC. So we're just gonna focus on these throttle pedal position faults. All right guys, so I just have the key on. I uh, just wanna look at some data pids for this throttle and the pedals. And what I find weird already is looking at the accelerator pedal uh, zero millivolts on both of those sensors and then when I hit the pedal nothing changes accelerator pedal travel I have it all the way down zero percent no changes so you have two position sensors in the actual pedal and then you have two sensors on the throttle body so if you have a problem with the pedal then essentially your throttle is not going to move So we're going to go down to this pedal and take some voltage measurements. Uh, two three-wire sensors. Should be two five-volt references, two grounds, and two signals. So we'll take a look at that. Alright guys, so here we are down at the pedal. There is our connector. It is a six-pin connector two 5 volt references, two signal wires, two grounds. So I am going to hook the Pico up and I'll keep you focused on that. And I'll just go down the line. Uh, I guess I'll bring up a wiring diagram. Let's get a wiring diagram first. All right guys, so here's the wiring diagram. These are our two pedal position sensors. And I got a connector view, so I just wrote it down. We have two 5 volt references, two grounds, and then two, I put two S's there for signal. So at the pedal, so pin two, 5 volt reference, pin three is a ground, pin four is a signal, and on the other sensor, pin one, 5 volt reference, pin two, or I'm sorry, pin five is the ground, and pin six is our signal. So I'll keep you focused on the Pico. I'm gonna go down here and do some voltage measurements, see what we have on these signal wires. I'll start with the signal wires first. All right, guys, I'm gonna keep you focused up here. Uh, we are on a 10 volt scale, two second time division. I am going to hook up to the signal wires. One is pin six, the other is pin four. And we'll see what we have. On the scan tool data pad, we had zero volts. So I am going to go on pin six first. So on pin six. Nothing on pin six. So we will 
go to pin 4, which is a signal wire for the other sensor. And nothing. So nothing on both signal wires. So our data looks like it's matching. Uh, the next thing to do, make sure we have a 5 volt reference. Just hit the panel note. No change on that. So let's go to the 5 volt references. Uh, one would be pin 2. Let's go to pin 2. Okay. About five volts there on pin two. Now we can go to pin one. And that is the other five volt reference. So five volts on that one. Check the grounds. And then the grounds are pin two and pin five. So I'll go to pin two first. Or, I'm sorry. The, the grounds are pin three and pin five. So I'll go on three first. Point one volts on the ground. Uh, okay, let's. That's not good. Let's go to the other one, which is pin five. And the same thing. Oh, I just I clicked on the ground. It's the same thing. We have four point one volts on both of these sensor grounds. That is not good. The next step would be to go to the computer, check our grounds at the computer. Um, I'm just going to unplug this real quick. And I'm expecting it, I guess, to drop. Yeah. You can see. All right, I'm going to take, I have an LED test light. I have an LED test light. We'll hook that up to battery positive and see if we could get a light, which I bet we're not going to with four, four volts on the ground with it plugged in. But what that's saying is we have, you have your five volt, you have your five volt reference coming in and then you have a ground and there is no ground. So the five volt reference just goes straight through. That's why we have 4.1 volts on the ground. Maybe it's Bad ground at the computer, broken wire. Weird that it's circuit low and not circuit high. So I have my pin for my Pico lead still in there. I have an LED test light. It's hooked up to battery positive. And I'm gonna touch on that. And we should get a light. Right now I'm touching on that. When I touch a ground, I should get a light. Let me use this for reference. So that's just going to ground. And nothing. So, and it's probably it's actually just pulling my voltage up. Let me see here. Channel over it. Just probably just pulling this thing up to, I don't know, battery voltage. Maybe a little bit lower than battery voltage.
All right, guys, so where we are with this car, um, we have no ground for these accelerator pedal position sensors. We have five volt reference and we have no signal. We have zero volts on the signal wires. It matches our data from the scan tool. We have no grounds. We have five volts on the grounds, both grounds, uh, with five volts on both grounds with the pedal position sensors plugged in. When we unplug it, there's zero volts, but we hook our test light up to battery positive and we do not get a test light. What's a light need? Power on the ground. We don't have a ground. So now uh, we're exposing the back side of the computer connector. We'll do some checks there and uh, we're gonna do the same checks. All right, so there's a little cover you have to take off right here to expose the back side of this connector so you can access these wires. And what we are looking for are ground wires for these pedal position sensors. Uh, it's gonna be this big connector, this 94, T94 slash 12, so pin 12, and then slash 34, so 34 and 12. Uh, let's go to 12 first. It's gonna be a gray with blue. Our pin 12 is right here. So just very gently slide that in there. I'll get you focused on the scope. Take this cursor. So roughly zero volts down at that cursor. Um, what we can do is take our test light now and make sure this is a ground. I have the pedal position sensor plugged in. Um, so we have five volts at the sensor and we have zero volts at the computer. So let's take our test light, battery positive. We'll touch on this and make sure we get a light. So we touch ground, we should get a light. See the green light? So we'll touch on this pin. And that light is lighting. So this is a good ground on our pin 12 for one of the position sensors. So the other one, pin 34, Um, it is a gray with red. And I believe it is right on the back side. It's right there. Same test. You see the test light lights. Scope shows zero. All right, guys, missing grounds at the pedal. We have good grounds at the computer. Our computer is good. So what we have is a wiring issue. And what we need to do now is do some visual inspections on this harness. All right, guys. So just doing a visual on this 94 pin connector. And it runs down down along and it looks like it splits and part of it goes into the body part of it goes underneath this battery tray What's that? Can you see that? It looks like Shine my light in there for you guys. You see that piece right there? It looks like it looks like a piece of wire. Can I focus on that? There we go. That's exactly what it is. Oh, we're gonna have some rodent damage here. All right, I'm gonna do a full visual. I don't know if I can take you guys with me, but that right there is a sign of a little mouse. Maybe we'll find a mouse house. A little something there. All right, I'm gonna do a visual. and You know what, I'm gonna pull this battery out of the way and we'll get a better peek at some things. Oh, 
Guys, this is not a good spot. Oh. This is right where it goes into the car. I'm trying to hold the camera steady. This is not going to be fun to fix. Ugh does not look good. So I got that piece tucked away, maybe give you a better look. It may not be so bad. Looks like both of our signal wires. But it looks like both of our grounds. All right guys, well that didn't take too long couple simple voltage checks. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get you an after on this. It's pretty clear we know what's wrong with it. Uh, we got some rodent damage. Uh, Mouse thought it was okay. He could come in here and chew some wires. So uh, we know what's wrong with the car. We got some mouse damage on the harness and what it looks like is he chewed up the grounds and maybe even the signal wires too. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to show an after but uh, needs harness repaired or a harness. It looks like it would be a whole body harness, so it would be much nicer to just repair it. So if I can get you an after shot, I will. If not, it's not a big deal. Showed you how to do some cool voltage checks uh, using the test light. And just some basic voltage checks, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. Okay guys, so this is a shot of the grounds after the repair and that is me clicking on channel A trying to show you that it is in fact zero volts, channel A and this is channel B and it looks like 37 millivolts, that's just me not being able to click exactly where the trace is, that is channel B, that is zero volts on that ground too. Next, this is a shot of both pedal position sensors. Uh, the blue channel is one, the red channel is the other, and it looks like the red channel is about half of the voltage and amplitude as one. See our pedal positions working. And this is just the shot with the scan tool at our measure values. And you can see our pedal position voltage 1, 754 millivolts up to about 4 volts. And our pedal position 2, about 380 millivolts up to about 2 volts. And notice how our throttle isn't changing. That is because the car is not running right now. So we'll start the car. And now you can see our throttle position is actually changing. Now the car has to be running.